Hello everyone. In this lecture, you will learn how to create a category list layout. So, first of all, open your Android project. Go to App Directory. Then select Resource. Go to Layout. Select Layout. Then right click on Layout. Select New. Then click on Layout Resource File. Uh, you have to give a name to your uh, list layout. It is totally up to you to give any name. Okay, let's say it. Uh, sorry, uh, as uh, you know, uh, layout resources value should be start from small case letters. Okay, so let's uh, make it list of category. Okay, list category then press ok as you can see our lit category has been ready now uh, let's uh, convert this constant layout to the uh, material card view so let's delete it and type material card view okay now Make the height wrap content. Give a corner radius. Uh, less 5 dp. Okay. Make a card compact padding to you. Select to you. Mm, it, wait, wait just a minute. Select to you. Okay. And now give a id to your card view because without an id uh, you cannot click or select the games category right so let's give a id id let's say it card category okay now our card view has been ready now inside a card view choose a um, constant layout Give a width to match parent and height also match parent. Type match parent and height to match parent. And give a layout margin 10 dp. As you can see, there is no space in the top and left and right. So give a some space margin 10 dp. Okay. Now let's close it. And inside this constraint layout, uh, we have to create an image view for showing games category images and uh, a text view showing uh, categories title. Okay, so let's create an image view. Image view height and width should be uh, let's select minimum 50 dp. Okay, type 50. Select height 50 and also give it to 50 and select height 50. It has been done. And also, there is no image is showing, and also we do not have a put a, any image inside our drivable folder. So do not worry about it. You can also use a color resource value as a SRC. Okay. Just type SRC and give a black color to it. You can give any color. There is no color. Let's say it pink. Okay. It is ready. Now let's. Uh, as you can see, there is. Uh, we have to stick this image to the left. Right. Okay. So make it left to left. To. As uh, as you we can say, it is start to start. Okay. Start to start of parent. And make a also talk to talk. Okay, it has been done. Now let's close it. Okay. Our image view has been ready, as you can see here. Uh, but uh, you should also give a ID to image view because uh, you cannot select or give any image to this image view dynamically. 
So let's give a ID to it. Select I, sorry, write ING category. You can give any name to it. It is totally up to you. Okay. As you can see, there is some warning. Let's click on it. Uh, then press Alt plus Enter and set content description. And uh, as you know, uh, what is this content description? The content descriptions basically tells the um, users what is uh, this image for. Okay, as you can see, uh, you have to explain why this image is showing for. What is the purpose? As you can write anything about this image. Okay, so let's uh, give this name to anything. Just type the app name for now. Okay. Uh, now after image view we have to create a text view do not select a simple text view use material text view okay material text view height and width due to wrap content after that you have to make this material text view after this image view so let's uh, first of all give a constant layout property to it start to end of uh, from where it is should, should start it will start from after the image so let's uh, start to end of start to end of end of from i img category okay write down img category okay now make uh, make a top to top parent okay and uh, there is something missing yes uh, also as you know image height is 50 dp but uh, we have choose a text view height wrap content so to make the text view in the center of the image then give a uh, constant layout property bottom to bottom of parent okay otherwise it will stick to the top and uh, not looks good okay so it is done make a text color mm, uh, write a text color black text color black black okay now select text size mm, 15 dp mm, first of all we have to check we have to create a, a text values we not create a text values so just go to the values go to dimension.xml and and from here create a uh, dimension value for text let to text 15 okay close it and put sp you not have to put dp if you are using a text view and use the uh, dimension resource value then you have to use sp not dp okay use sp so just type 15 it is suggesting you text 15 also is there just go to here and select text 15 okay it has been done now make the text property bold mm, it is style okay not a simple style it is a text style select number fifth okay text style bold italic and bold you can also select italic and normal okay and uh, after that uh, add a text view name we forget the adding a name so let uh, add a name name give a app name you can give any name okay it is totally up to you uh, no, no issue after that uh, make it close okay now it has been closed also 
you have to give a id to this text view otherwise you cannot set dynamic text inside this text view so give a id to it let's say it tv title means text view title okay as you can see there is no warnings no issue it is clean no problems found okay as you can see our category layout or list model has been ready but uh, there is some issue issues that uh, there is no space between image and uh, the title so give a margin start okay uh, type margin start uh, give a margin at least 10 dp okay at 10 dp now uh, as you can see now it it looks good okay if you you can change anything from later if you not find it is well working or good looking in the app then you can change anything text view color size styles anything okay it is totally up to you now our this video has been completed i will meet you in the next video